Good morning ladies and gentlemen. This is my review of the John Deere 317G. This machine right here is absolutely awesome. I put about 14 hours on it this weekend. Um, it is fast, but it's smooth. Um, it is extremely nice for its size. I, you can take that bucket right there and you can fill it up as full as you want to get it and it'll tote it. This machine right here will be joining our fleet here shortly or one just like it. It's uh, 65 horsepower I believe. Maybe it's 61. It was somewhere in the 60s. It's comfortable to be a small machine. It has lots of options. The engine and everything, your filters are easy to get to. The ground clearance, I ain't a big fan of. It ain't got much. I think it's around eight inches or so. But as uh, and as you can see, it's very open underneath here. Uh -oh. The radiator flips open so you can get in to blow them out and do all that good stuff. It is very fuel efficient. Um, I burnt a little over a tank of fuel maybe through it. It's overall, it seems to be a very nice, very nice, very capable machine. Sorry about the wind if y'all are catching all that. This is joystick control. It has a foot throttle. Um, spring ride seat. This machine has 30... I think it just hit 40 hours on it. So, um, I've actually, I've got two of these coming. And I've got two 35G John Deere Mini X's. I've just purchased a uh, local business here in Coleman, so I will be in the rental industry here shortly and I'll also do a little bit of excavating on the side but I just thought I'd do a little bit of a walk around on this thing tell y'all what I thought I don't really like on the bigger machines these are built into the arms um, I have knocked them off like on that Takahuchi I have knocked those off um, stacking hay in the barn and stuff like that. That right there I'm not a big fan of, but for the price difference between it and the cat and the bigger machines, I'll, I'll live with it. So, uh, alright, well I've wasted nearly four minutes of y'all's time, so y'all have a blessed day and be safe out there and I'll be back.